So do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? You want me to go first? Okay. What do you call a parade of rabbits hopping backward? What do you call it? A receding hairline.
from the Midrash. Similarly, African American slaves communicated among themselves in riddles that the white slave owners could not understand. Coco Misa was listening intently. She looked a little perplexed as she unraveled the Mushushuhu's words. It continued, those who, are deaf, those who are deaf to history say it is a sham, even though Iraq was the birthplace of your patriarch Abraham. Since you found me, I can finally return to my home in Iraq. I will carry you through as we explore each and every cranny and crack. Surrounded by desert, the eco-region of the Tigris-Euphrates included shallow lakes, swamps, and vast marshes. An extraordinarily rich agricultural area, this part of the Little Crescent was once known as the Cradle of Civilization. Now many nations and megacorporations fight over ownership of water rights. Irrigation strategies that dam the Tigris-Euphrates benefit Turkish residents while they reduce Syrians' access by 40% and Iraqis' access, access, access by 90%. Iraq suffers a significant water shortage and reduced crop yields because of drought. And then I talk a little bit about how that relates to the US. Um, as with our international epidemic of malnutrition, there is more than enough food in the world, just like water. The problem is not quantity, but rather distribution, infrastructure, and quality. Across the Tigris, Euphrates, Valor River system we go. Since you found me in the spaces between the sand grains, I know. Sand grains are porous and permeable. The world's largest accumulations of oil and gas are found in the spaces between sand grains. Like Spinoza, as a lens maker for the microscope and telescope, Rachel Carson was in awe of the simultaneity of microcosms and microcosms. Worlds literally between grains of sand. She tells us our human senses cannot grasp its scale. A world in which the micro droplet of water separating one grain, grain of sand from another is like a vast, dark sea. We soon arrived at Babylon's Ishtar Gate, adorned with drag dragons and canine-like creatures. When I asked the Mushushuhu how the Mesopotamian king could build a tribute to the Ishtar, to Ishtar, the goddess of love, and also destroy Jerusalem, it started. Ishtar is not only the goddess of love. Ishtar is the goddess of war. Festooned between the Tigris and the Euphrates were the many hearts she tore. I do not care that I have no dragon's lair, but this is my home, so I no longer have to roam. Once inside the gate, it is my fate to return to my original fragmented state. But before I shift, remember, we can only heal the rift. The Mushushuhu interrupted itself and sputtered. Beavers. A colony of aspens. A murder of crows. A flutter of butterflies. A zeal of zebras. A parliament of owls. A covey of quail. A string of ponies. A knot of frogs. A mob of kangaroos. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> A troop of Maccabees. Just go ahead. A caravan of camels. A comfort of cats. An opera of canaries. An exaltation of larks. A quivering of cobras. A bouquet of hummingbirds. A leap of leopards. A mischief of mice. A yoke of oxen. A sunder of warthogs. A raft of otter. A galaxy of jellyfish. A murmuration of starlings. A raffle of a mess of iguanas. A charm of hummingbirds. A watch of nightingales. A herd of gazelles. A bale of turtles. A bed of urchins. A pod of whales. A crash of rhinoceroses. A walk of snails. A nest of vipers. A whoop of baboons. An embarrassment of pandas. An aurora <laughs> of polar bears. A shiver of sharks. An ostentation of peacocks. A wake of vultures. A stand of Flamingo. A stand of trees. A gaggle of geese. A hum of bees. A streak of tigers. A smack of jellyfish. A brood of beetles. 
A team of ducks. A school of fish. A village of. With that, the Mushishuhu re disassembled, becoming a mosaic once again. Zazu and Kokomiso travel across a raft to meet their great great Tia Zubadia. But beware, so Tia Zubadia, this character. But beware, we cannot assume that what we see is what there is. Some people think Ladino is a fossilized language, like this beetle, in, like this beetle preserved in an amber deposit, forever, forever unchanging. But Ladino is alive. It is like this shofar, the ram's horn, blown to signal the, ho the holy days and link us to the divine. It reminds us of our commitment to humility that allows us to look at relationships among many things. Our relationship to this ram's horn is our breath, the interaction between human and divine. Our coexistence brings us beauty and joy, like the bending and adaptability of a reed, the spiraling bend in a shofar, reminds us that everything is always changing, offering multiple perspectives. And that is what the book is about. Multiple, multiple perspectives, symbiosis, working together across many different kinds of differences and challenges. Um, and I'm adapt adapting it to both screen um, for a full length animation and uh, to a musical. So I'm dreaming a musical. So if any of you are interested in any of those or future events, um, do let me know. And I have an email list. <laughs>